is pussy rap played out. <laughs> All right. Now, this is a good conversation. Let's get into this. So multi-platinum producer, Hitmaker, a.k.a. Young Berg, was dropping some gems on the TL, which actually sparked an interesting conversation for me. So this is what he tweeted. He tweeted, I can't wait to work with a pretty female rapper that's strictly about bars to even the playing field. Pussy rap was cool when it had shock value and was rare. Now it's like every girl's taking it there. It's some who aren't, but they need a hit producer for impact. All right. So this is what stood out to me about this tweet. The part where he said pussy rap was cool when it had shock value and was rare. What I take from that is it's losing its shock value because it's not rare anymore. <laughs> it's like, I remember when I first heard Nicki Minaj and I heard her, she started the song like this, like pause on all of this, but she started the song by saying, let me think, what could I do to kick it off? How about I come all on that dick and then I lick it off? <laughs> I can't even say that shit. Like, yo, but when she said, when she started a song like that, I was like, wait, who is this? You know what I'm saying? Like when Lil Kim said, rather count a million while you eat my pussy, push me to the limit, get my feelings in it, get me open while I'm coming down your throat in. You want to be my main squeeze, nigga? Don't you? You want to lick between my knees? <laughs> yo, this shit, like when that shit... When they first said this shit, I'm telling you, people couldn't even believe that this was recorded on a mic by a female. I'm telling you. Now, we live in an over-sexualized culture with very little to no sensory like it used to be. Like When there was radio and TV was our main consumption sources, we really it was hard for us to really see the shit that we'd be seeing on the internet. You know what I'm saying? And now there's like a sex-positive like woman empowerment movement. That really makes it okay to be like, yeah, I'm out here. <laughs> like, I'm doing what niggas do. There's the whole hot girl summer shit. And that, I think the hot girl summer shit, it made people like the City Girls and Saweetie and Meg the Stallion. Like, these are the faces for, like, a sex positive movement for women. And there's nothing wrong with that. I do believe that there's a lot of positive things that came from the sex positive movement for women. But honestly, I feel like it's becoming oversaturated. And it has a very low ceiling because we don't really see female rappers, especially that type of female rappers, selling that high. Like they might have a good single here and there, but they don't really get the highest numbers unless we're talking about a Cardi B or a Nicki Minaj. Ultimately, most of these female rappers of this generation are like shade room celebrities. They're like, <laughs> like I feel like Young M.A., Young M.A. could possibly be the greatest female rapper of all time. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's just I feel like we just don't look at her like a female, like, because she's not selling sex like that. She's rapping with the niggas. She's rapping on that level. But if we want to keep it real, she could be up there for one of the best female rappers of all time. If we want to keep it buck with skill. But that, that's a whole nother conversation. So let's just be honest here. I feel like female rap is going to have to start evolving and start getting to another level because there's a lot more female rappers entering the game now so if we want to be honest i feel like female rap in this day and age lacks creativity i feel like we're not talking about the rhapsodies and the young ma's when i say this i'm not talking about the artists that probably should get attention but don't i'm talking about the artists that do get attention but shouldn't i would honestly love to learn more about these artists through their music besides the fact that they could shake their ass like why can we never have a female artist that could give us a hit yeah give us something that you could shake your ass to but also give us something that's more introspective and something that's just a little bit more creative and i understand that most dudes write for most women in this industry but you need to tell those niggas to write something else because i don't understand why all saweetie can do is just <laughs> sample a song and redo a song that was already made and just look good like i don't know Maybe I'm just being a hater. I'm, I'm hating. Low-key, I'm hating. Because there's a lot of dudes out here that be doing a lot of repetitive ass shit too. But I feel like also because there's a lot more male rappers, you see the male rappers with diversity. If you look at someone like Drake, somebody who could rap, sing, still tell you stories about his relationship with his mom and every single girl he's ever had a relationship with. And in depth, get into rap battles, be lyrically amazing. Like I know I'm comparing it to the best, but like, come on. I'm just giving a criteria for the amount of things that you can do with music besides just make music about shaking ass and twerking and don't even get it twisted i love music about shaking ass and twerking and personally i love when females rap about sex i don't even have a problem with it i'm just i'm just referring back to the tweet 
pussy rap was cool when it had shock value and was rare. And I just feel like it's losing its rarity. It's getting kind of watered down. And we just need a little bit more if that's not too much to ask for. And I'm not saying that this is all female rappers. I'm just trying to put it towards the ones that apply. And you know what they say, if it don't apply, let it fly. I personally thought that this was an interesting conversation. I'd like to see if anybody else has any opinions on it. But either way, you already know what it is. It's my opinion and not yours. So don't get mad at me, bitch. (laughs) Peace.